Well, if you're looking for something to do this Thursday, the National Weather Service in Buffalo has their next online storm spotter training. It comes up Thursday at 7 o'clock. And uh, the, uh, the uh, online training sessions you do need to uh, pre-register for. So uh, for that, you can go to weather.gov slash BUF slash Skywarn. And uh, they're free to attend. All ages from 8 to 88 can attend. And, you know, something we talk about a lot is why we need more spotters. So we thought we'd kind of break it down for you in a kind of very interesting graphic to kind of explain why storm spotters are very important. So here is, is a simulated National Weather Service next rad Doppler radar. And uh, even though Doppler radar is a fantastic tool and no weather forecaster would want to be without it, I mean, I would not want to have any of my colleagues have to face a severe weather episode to have to have the radar be down. That is awful. Uh, radar is a fantastic tool, but the problem we have with radar is this. When the beam gets sent out from the radar dish, it's not sent out in a perfectly straight line, but you can imagine it as a straight line. So as the beam gets sent out, the Earth curves away from it because the Earth obviously is a sphere. It curves. The Earth is not flat. So because of that, the beam gets higher and higher and higher and higher the further out you go from the radar site. And that gives us a problem when you start getting out five, six, seven thousand feet up into the atmosphere. That's not really doing us a whole lot of good. And uh, the lowest, uh, the um, uh, the lowest scan uh, that the uh, Buffalo National Weather Service radar does is 0.3 degrees. Most of the next rads do half degree, but uh, they kind of lowered theirs a couple of notches uh, uh, about a couple of years ago. So radar is only showing us when you really take this puzzle, radar is only showing us from here up. So what about this down here? Well, that's where you come in as a storm spotter. Now, don't do this. Obviously, don't be out there with your phone, you know, be like that. But, you know, you're getting the idea that being down here on the ground, you're seeing that lowest part of the atmosphere. So even on radar, we may see areas of of what could be uh, maybe a mesocyclone or maybe even worse, you know, a uh, tornado on radar, but we're seeing it up here, not down here. So again, remember, we don't see tornadoes with radar. We're seeing the thunderstorm that is producing them. So that is where you come into play because you're seeing down here, you're able to relate to us what is exactly happening out there because what we see on radar, this might not be happening at the ground because we can't see it with radar. So that is why storm spotters are very important. And again, you know, this is something we highly encourage everybody to do eight from 88 can get storm spotter trained and it's free to attend. And hey, what's the worst thing that can happen? Two hours, learn about science, and you can help us be better with the warning process.